Good evening students and welcome to today's daily quiz presented to you by Baiju's exam prep IAS. Before we move on to our questions, here is a quick announcement that we have a free workshop on how to link current affairs with the static syllabus which will be live on 21st January at 6 p.m. only on the Baiju's exam prep app. So do not forget to download the app and register for this particular session because it will be helpful not only for prelims but also for mains exam. The registration link is also available in the video description. So we move on to our first question. Which of the following statements are correct? The annual status of education report is published by the Ministry of Human Resource Development. According to the 17th ASER, the enrollment in 6 to 14 years age is at a record high. So we have taken this question because on 18th January, the ASER annual status of education report was published not by MHRD but by an NGO known as Pratham. According to this report, the enrollment in 6 to 14 years of age is at a record high. 98.4% of the children aged 6 to 14, they are now in schools. However, there is one concern that the reading ability has dropped to pre-2012 levels. Compare that with 2018 when it was 27.3%, right now it is only 20.5%, a drop of almost 7%. The other findings that were received from this report are that Almost all rural children of ages 6 to 14 years are enrolled in school and the enrollment is now more in the government schools compared to the private schools. Also, the proportion of the kids who are taking paid tuitions has increased since 2018 and this has been considered as one of the result of the COVID pandemic and the homeschooling that came along with that. So here this is a wrong statement because it is published by NGO Pratham. This is a correct statement. Yes, the enrollment in this age group is at a record high. So the correct answer is B. Next question is, which of the following statements are correct? The first global stock take under Paris Convention will conclude during the 28th COP of UNFCCC. The COP28 of the UNFCCC will be held in Egypt. So COP is the conference of parties which is the highest decision making body of United Nations Framework Convention for Climate Change. So we have taken this question because in the Indian Express an editorial has been published which is written by the ambassador of UAE to India wherein he states the commitments of UAE with regards to climate change change. Here he has mentioned that UAE will be undertaking the presidency of COP28. So that means COP28 will be held in UAE. Here he has also mentioned that how the COP28 will finally conclude the first global stock take that is an audit to demonstrate the gap between the claims and the achievements when it comes to climate change related commitments of the various countries. You know that under Paris Convention, all the countries had to declare their nationally determined commitments to climate change mitigation, right? So this global stock take is basically the assessment of the gap, the achievements and the failures of the various countries when it comes to their commitments. So here, this is a correct statement. Yes, global stock take which started in February 2022 will finally conclude during the COP28. This is a wrong statement because this COP will be held in UAE. So the correct answer here is A. Now we move on to our next question. How many of the following are correctly matched? On the left side, we have the force and on the right side, we have the international border which is covered or defended by that particular force. So this question, please note, is important not just for prelims but also for mains because in mains GS paper 3, you have a section on security forces of India. The first is BSF Pakistan, that is Border Security Force and Pakistan. Indo-Tibetan Border Police and China, Assam Rifles Bangladesh, Sahasra Seema Bal and 
Bhutan. We have to state how many of these statements are correct. We have taken this question because there is an article in Indian Express that BSF, Border Security Force, seizes Chinese pistols dropped by Pakistan drone. And this seizure has been done around 8 kilometers inside the Indian territory from the international border in Punjab. So by this statement, we know that BSF, it controls or defends the border at Pakistan. So out of these statements, this is correct. BSF is responsible for Pakistan and the Bangladesh borders. ITBP is responsible for the Chinese border. Sahasra Seemabal is responsible for Bhutan and Nepal borders. However, this is wrong. Assam Rifles is not responsible for Bangladesh border. It is responsible for the Myanmar border. So the correct answer is C. Only three statements are correct. So one quick fact that this division amongst the forces of the international border that they have to defend was done way back after the Kargil War. Next, we have this question. Consider the following statements. The state election commissions declare the dates for state assembly elections. The model code of conduct starts from the day when the election dates are declared. We have to choose which are the incorrect statements. We have taken this question because the election commission of India has declared the dates for state assembly elections in Tripura, Meghalaya and Nagaland and it is to be done in the month of February 2020. So, taking account of this, this is a wrong statement. The Election Commission of India, the central body actually declares the dates for not just the state assembly elections, but also the Lok Sabha elections. And they also declare the dates for any by elections in states as well as centre. This is a correct statement because yes, model code of conduct, it starts from the day when the election dates are declared. And it stops once the elections are concluded. Can you state in the comments the first state to bring about the model code of conduct during their state assembly elections? All over India, I'll tell you, in 1962, it was the first time that during the Lok Sabha elections, the model code of conduct was implemented. So it is implemented to avoid giving any unfair advantage to the ruling party over the opposition or any other candidates. So the correct answer here is A, that is only statement 1 is incorrect. Now we move on to a PYQ which is from medieval history. Regarding the taxation system of Krishnadeva, the ruler of Vijayanagar consider the following statements. The tax rate on land was fixed depending upon the quality of the land. Private owners of workshops paid an industries tax. So during the Vijayanagar kingdom, taxes were a very important source of revenue for the state. In fact, land taxes were the biggest source of revenue for them. And these taxes, the land taxes, it ranged from one third to one-sixth of the total produce depending upon the quality of the land. So this is a correct statement. Apart from the land taxes, there were many other taxes that were imposed on shopkeepers, on musicians, on shoemakers, even grazing and housing taxes were imposed over the citizens. The private owners of the workshops, they also paid a particular tax known as industries tax. So the correct answer here is C. That is both the statements are correct. Now we come to the fact of the day. It is related to the Kane Betwa link project. Now this link project, it is a flagship project, not just of the center, but also those two states involved in it, that is Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. So the basic reason why this particular project is being undertaken is to transfer surplus water from the Kane River to the Betwa River in order to provide water to the drought prone area of Bundel Khand. So according to PIB, 
the third meeting of steering committee of kane betwa link project was held where representatives from center and from the two states they were involved now this kane betwa project many of you might know that this was stuck because of an environmental reason that is a part of this project was going through the panna tiger reserve however finally in the year 2021 in march this project got a final approval to go ahead this project involves two major components one is the dhodhan dam and apart from that there will be a 230 km canal to transfer water from kain river to betwa river so this project is one of the 30 river linking projects that have been conceived all across the country in order to protect the drought prone areas and to manage the flood prone areas so according to this third meeting of the steering committee various decisions were taken like two wildlife sanctuaries of madhya pradesh that is nora dehi and rani durgavati and one wildlife sanctuary ranipur wildlife sanctuary of up they have been approved by respective state governments to be brought under the project tiger there is also an intimation to the committee that 5480 hectares of non forest government land from the districts of panna and chhatarpur of madhya pradesh they have been issued by the state government to be transferred to the panna tiger reserve for undertaking compensatory afforestation also a proposal to constitute a rehabilitation committee to rehabilitate the people living around those areas has been finalized So that is all about fact of the day and with that we come to an end to today's daily quiz. I hope you enjoyed this particular session and you were able to understand all the concepts dealt over here. So thank you very much. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel to get your daily dose of knowledge.